Hi, good afternoon. So we're in Grenoble this afternoon and, and we're going to do a quick demonstration on how powerful electrochemistry is. It's the most robust, one of the most robust sciences for doing sensing in the world. We're in the street. We've got our lab set up to my left. What we're going to do is we've got the local wine, which we're about to drink. We're going to take a sample of it. We're going to take one of our electrodes. We're going to put it in our, in our in a pot. And we're going to put the sample straight onto the electrode like that, which we're doing now. Now, we're going to run the assay. And so what's happening now is, um, we've literally got the sample of wine on the sensor. We've um, put it straight onto the electrode. We're running the um, sensor. Um, it's a, it's a, let's say, a, a new electrode. But what we're demonstrating is that electrochemistry is so robust that you can be in the street, just take a sample of something that you want to analyze, put it straight on the electrode, and really without, without much effort or much work, you put it on there, and we're recording a very unique, inter interesting um, signal. And this is the beautiful thing about electrochemistry, that there's very few techniques where you can just take them in the streets, take them out and about, and um, just analyze them um, as you are. So this is the first scan. It's a very unique fingerprint for this wine. And then it'll come back and it'll do a second scan and I'll probably even stop it in a minute. So in a minute it's coming back, it's doing the second scan. And there we are. So let me summarize this then. So what we've done is we've taken wine, We've taken one of our disposable electrodes, we've put it into the potentiostat, and now we're recording the, um, the electrochemical activity of that wine. But the real take home message is, this is not a laboratory, this is not specially set up conditions, we're just in the street and we're able to do an electrochemical experiment. So, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much.